Hi, my name is Haley Huey, and I serve as the Village Director for the Albright Entrepreneurs Village on Centennial Campus at NC State. We work with students who have entrepreneurial aspirations and also those students who want to cultivate the mindset and skills that help innovative thinkers and doers succeed. Patrick Koo is a third year resident living in our village, uh, studying psychology and was a new resident to the AEV this year. He was chosen by his peers for this honor. Patrick joined our group and immediately found his place within the social and the co-curricular programming that we offer. His tenacity to develop an entrepreneurial mindset and form lasting friendships with his fellow residents was apparent through his involvement with our socials, our entrepreneurship challenges, and through his work in our linked course. Patrick was nominated and chosen by his peers for his dedication to developing himself and the community as a whole. He's been highly engaged through our weekly open door, all building activities, uh, through events, he won our annual Entrepreneurship Elimination Challenge and is a supportive sounding board for his fellow residents. We look forward to welcoming Patrick back in his fourth and final year at NC State uh, as a stellar resource and an integral part of our community. Thank you so much to Patrick and all that you bring to our group. We look forward to working with you again. Hello everyone, my name is Patrick Koo. My preferred pronouns are he, his, and him. I'm a member of the All Right Entrepreneurs Village, and I'm a third year student that's majoring in psychology. Being the spirit of the village to me means that I embody an entrepreneurial mindset that the village emphasizes, which includes collaborating with a diverse population and learning new skills, while also participating in various events that are hosted in Innovation Hall. I have embodied the spirit of the village by developing close relationships with other residents and the mentors, being active in the community, playing and winning games like each of LM, and by defending the door next to the building. One instance of being personally impacted by the village is by getting to know my incredible mentor, Nick. Nick has visited my apartment's door every Thursday night, brings us food, tea poses for us, and has always just been a spot of sunshine on a cloudy day. Meeting new people like Nick has helped me academically as well, because it allowed me to keep my studies separate from other parts of my life. Professionally, D Village has allowed me to develop new skills that I have always been interested in, such as 3D printing and market research. It has also inspired me to take a risk by joining a startup company as an intern last year. I believe that the lessons I have learned in the village will assist me in my goals of pursuing graduate school. I plan on getting a PhD in a field called Human Factors, which closely analyzes how people currently interact with products and systems in order to make them safer, more efficient, and to provide a better user experience. I believe that this heavily relates back to the philosophy of entrepreneurial thinking, in which pains and problem areas must be identified before a person acts towards a solution. Once again, thank you very much for choosing me as Spirit of the Village. I can't wait to be back next year. Hi, my name is Mike Mellis. I'm the Arts Village Director and I'm pleased to present this year's Arts Village Spirit of the Village Award to Shirag Jagdish Gunjal. When I think about the spirits, values, and mission of the Arts Village, I am constantly reminded of Shirag and how his many actions make both the Arts Village and campus as a whole a better place to live. Among his fellow students, he is constantly an enthusiastic and welcoming presence, making Turlington Hall a better place to live. Within uh, the AVS 100 course, his desire to challenge himself both academically and personally through the arts is an inspiration to other students, in particular, other capstone students. And across the broader NC State community, through groups like Jawani, an acapella group, and Funk Wanted, a funk band he started with other arts villagers, he finds creative and engaging ways to bring the arts across the entire campus. It is for all of these reasons and more, I am so pleased to present this year's Arts Village Spirit of the Village Award to Chirag. I'm Chirag Jagdish Gunjal and my pronouns are he, him, and his. I represent the Arts Village and I'm a sophomore in computer science. Being the spirit of the village means the world to me. It reaffirms my confidence in myself and what I stand for and more importantly, it strengthens the special connection that I share with the Arts Village community. What makes it all the more special is that this award recognizes me for being myself and following my passion outside the classroom, and I could not receive a greater honor than that. I always try to engage with the Arts Village community in every way I can. I love interacting with my hallmates and participating in social events with them. While I'm at it, I always encourage them to take part 
in various club activities and try my best to build a support system as something that stays constant in this ever-changing world. The Arts Village has given me so much to be grateful for. I've met some amazing people and mentors who have enriched my experience, especially as an international student who came here for college. Not only did I feel welcome, I also felt appreciated for my diversity and talents. Living with artistically inclined and socially outgoing people helped me grow as an artist and as a person. And my experience at NC State would not have been the same without the warm, comforting environment of the Arts Village. Being an arts villager has exposed me to a great deal of information and has given me a lot to think about intellectually. Topics ranging from visual and performing arts to ethics and politics are all subjects of the conversations that I have with my dorm mates. And these conversations have opened up numerous personal and professional possibilities. What I've learned and experienced in the arts village will stay with me forever. Hi everyone, I hope you all are doing well in the midst of our glo global pandemic and taking care of yourselves and best wishes to your family as well. My name is Jeremy Lee and I'm very proud to serve as the Community Director of Avon Ferry Complex. And more specifically, I'm very proud to oversee the Black Male Initiative of the Vega Running Village. Today I have the distinct honor of sharing a few words about our Spirit of the Village Award recipient, Mr. Jalen Harvey. Jalen is a second year graduate design major from Washington, North Carolina. If you're not familiar with North Carolina geography, there is a Washington in North Carolina. It is on the coast. We affectionately call it Little Washington. Go see it sometime. You'll find Jalen there too. Anyways, uh, Jalen's addition to BMI was truly one of a kind. He arrived on moving day to an unprepared room and a very upset community director in me. I had to speak to him about BMI and the room situation. Uh, he did take a chance to join our brotherhood. We knew very quickly on that Jalen would be an impactful voice in our community. We found out in one of our best settings, Mellow Mushroom, after a conversation regarding a speech we had just heard about Simone Sanders. And we knew then that we were really blessed and fortunate to have Jalen in our community. Fast forward a year later, he's not only become the spirit of our village, Jalen's become the spirit of the fairy. And he's been of the spirit of Avon Fairy, our culture of our community, and all those folks who have called Avon home for years. Jalen most notably garnered praise as an organizer of an event. The University Housing Leadership was able to hear the voices of students in the Avon Ferry Complex after a decision was made regarding furniture housing that resulted in a BMI potentially leaving the community. Through Jalen's leadership, over 50 student voices were heard, and his cause gained the support of many within the NC State community. His village brothers had a chance to give some quotes, and they summed his efforts up perfectly. Jalen is a go getter and it was everything that's award in titles, period. They said period. <laughs> I personally am grateful for Jalen's leadership in our community, as a leader within the village, as well as a city in our community. Jalen, thank you for teaching me how to play Call of Duty, side note, um, and then also beating me in the game like I was a pro or something. Uh, thank you for our fountain runs, for grandma fried chicken for dinner, uh, and also for our hotel tip hours. If you know, you know what it is. <laughs> all in all, Thank you, Brother Jalen, for taking a chance on us and making BMI home for you at NC State. I am a better professional, and BMI is a better village because of our time spent with you. We're honored to name you the Spirit, spirit of the Village or recipient, and we thank you so much for your time with us. Thank you all. Have a good day. I am Jalen Harvey. I use he and his pronouns. I am a member of the Black Male Initiative, and I'm a sophomore with a graphic design major and Africana Studies minor. Being the Spirit of the Village is an honor to me. I'm honored to have my brothers look at me in this light and nominate me for this award. I couldn't have done it without them. I believe I have embodied the spirit of the village by always being there when my brothers need me. I try to always stay positive and be there when my brothers need a laugh or if they need help with anything. BMI has made me a better person in many ways. BMI has made me more comfortable in leadership roles and I contribute a lot of my growth to my older brothers. I plan on using my experiences and what I've learned in BMI to be a better person personally and a better leader professionally. I'm a completely different person now than what I was when I first stepped on campus. Much of that comes from my experiences in BMI. I'm so proud that my BMI brothers recognize me in this way. Hello, my name is Aisha Williams and I serve as the director of the Exploratory Studies Village here at NC State University. 
The Exploratory Studies Village serves incoming first year students as we guide them through a year of major and career exploration. I have the pleasure to announce the 2019-2020 Exploratory Studies Spirit of the Village Award winner, Carter Rogers. Carter has been described by his peers as someone who is welcoming and always willing to greet everyone and to make sure that they feel at home. He is the first person to spark up a conversation and to try to get to know someone to help build that community. As an incoming freshman, Carter jumped right into getting involved to serve as a student ambassador for Tucker Hall in the Inter-Residence Council. He also helped to facilitate programs in the village to help build that community. In a village where you have incoming students that are going through a year of major and career exploration, it's helpful to have someone that is willing to break the ice. So Carter, thank you for being the light and embodying the spirit of the village. Hello everyone, my name is Megan Teton. My preferred pronouns are she, her, hers, and it is my honor to serve as the director of the Eco Village. This year, for the first time, the Eco Village community vote determined that two students were so demonstrative of such great personal character and integrity, as well as our Eco Village values of sustainability and community, that the village could not decide on just one winner, and the voting ended in a tie. So this year, the honor is shared between Isaac Smith and Melzer Morgan. Isaac was nominated by his mentor because this year he has been a wonderful person for the village, from his constant uplifting spirit and greetings in the breezeways to his participation in the Eco Village intramurals and other events. Isaac's enthusiasm has been a blast to work with, especially in small groups like the Environmental Education Subcommittee. When voting for Isaac, his peers in the village had many other wonderful things to say about them. He is always positive and friendly. He's an all around nice guy. He's the best. He was a friend to everyone in the village. He made efforts to not only become involved in our community, but to make others feel involved and welcomed as well. He is such an upbeat, kind, welcoming and friendly person. I couldn't think of anyone else better to represent the village. And I have always felt welcomed with Isaac. Even from the first day of meeting him in the Eco Village, he treated me as a friend, reaching out, always asking how I am and how my day is going. Furthermore, I would consistently run into him at Eco Village activities, and he would always be pitching in to the best of his ability. I am happy to say that Isaac will be returning to our community next academic year to participate in the Eco Village second year program, during which time I am sure he will continue to be a bright light within our community, providing a warm and welcoming presence to all of our new community members. Our second winner, Melzer Morgan, was nominated by his mentor because throughout the semester he was very active and engaged with many of our programs. He seemed to really want to learn more and always gave interesting and insightful points during many discussions. Also, not only during Eco Village events, but outside the village as well, he was a friend to many and he is someone who can really bring people together. He is passionate about the village and sustainability as a whole, while also balancing academic life as well. When voting for Melzer, his peers in the village spoke of Melzer as being devoted and active in the Eco Village program, a good friend and a passionate member of our community, very engaged, a great friend. Melzer was always a good presence in the village and never failed to contribute to the greater experience. Finally, and a long one, Melzer is an amazing person. He has been the most amazing friend and cares so much about the health and happiness of everyone around him. His dedication to the environment can be seen in everything he does. He's dedicating his life to helping through his major, sustainable materials, 
And even though he does not yet officially represent as an ambassador for the College of Natural Resources, he sure talks about it to anyone who will listen. He is active in the environmental fraternity and he has repeatedly proven his dedication to the Eco Village through his accumulation of lots of service hours and his return next year as a mentor. I cannot think of a better person to be recognized as the spirit of the village because Melzer truly does represent all the Eco Village strives to be. He's professional, he's intelligent, he's insanely caring and passionate about others, and you can't find a better steward for the environment. As was mentioned by this student, um, thankfully Melzer too will be returning to the Eco Village next year to serve as a village mentor for our incoming first year and transfer community members. We are grateful and lucky to have students like Isaac and Melzer forming the backbone, heart, and spirit of the Eco Village. Hi, I'm Isaac Smith. I go by he, him, his. I live in the Eco Village. My major is natural resources with a concentration in policy and administration. And I am a first year student here at NC State. Being the spirit of the village means that I not only successfully made an impact on the entire village, but I made an impact on the members of the village personally. I think that embodying the spirit of the village means that I developed a relationship with each member of the village for as many as I could in my time in the village. So I did this by actively seeking out members that I felt were being isolated, members of the village that I felt like hadn't spoken up, hadn't spoken out a lot, and hadn't been terribly involved in necessarily all the social groups and gatherings that we had in the village. So in order to do this, I would actively seek them out and I would develop a relationship with them. I'd build this relationship and then I'd become their friend. And by doing so, I believe that I made an impact on everybody in the village that I met. I have been personally and professionally affected by my experience in the village by the lessons that I have learned there, not only in the class or in the various opportunities that the village offered, but the people there taught me a lot about being a good friend and obviously how to live more sustainably. But they also taught me what it means to help lead other people and how to encourage them to take the right steps to being a healthier, more productive member of society. I plan to use what I've learned in the village in the future by encouraging other people to live more sustainably, by teaching them the lessons that I have been taught. And I plan to encourage other people to be a good friend to your friends because you may not know what they're going through, you don't know their backgrounds, and just being there when they need you means a lot. It can go a long way. Professionally, I intend to use my knowledge to help further my career in sustainability as that is what I am at College of Natural Resources for. And that's all. My name is Melzer Morgan. My preferred pronouns are he, him, his. I'm a member of the Eco Village and I am a first year student in sustainable materials and technology. It is a great honor for me to be recognized as a spirit of the Eco Village. I have been heavily involved with the village since I came to NC State last fall and I have gained a lot from it. The organization itself is an amazing way to get involved on campus and encourage sustainability in everyday life. I believe I have embodied the spirit of the village through my commitment to the village events and sustainability. I strive to be a model representative of the Eco Village and uplift this message. I attended every event that I could and make sure that others joined to foster inclusion and promote sustainable living. I plan to continue my influence next year as a village mentor. I have been able to apply things that I've learned about sustainability through the village to my everyday life. Now, I am more conscious than ever of my environmental footprint and how sustainability is much more than just the environment. I have worked with professional organizations to aid waste reduction in the Raleigh area and spent time representing the Eco Village at open houses and even a women's basketball game. Overall, the Eco Village has given me a new perspective on the world and our campus, as well as professional development skills that I will continue to utilize. Having an understanding of sustainability is crucial in the modern world. I believe that my involvement in the Eco Village will allow me to succeed in life and allow me to make conscious, sustainable decisions. I am a student in sustainable materials and technology, so learning about sustainability will apply directly to my curriculum and enhance my academic progress. Hello, my name is Nico Brown. I'm the director of the Engineering Village. I have the privilege of introducing Eli Williams as the 2019-2020 K. Yao Spirit of the Village winner for the Engineering Village. Through this year, Eli has truly demonstrated what it means to be a member of the Engineering Village. 
He's been an active member of the community and has been a steady presence within the village. Eli is often found downstairs in, in the main entering village office suite talking with other villagers or village mentors. While working through his first year and navigating the transition to NC State and the College of Engineering, Eli has also embraced the making aspect of exploring the field of engineering. Through the spring semester, Eli was frequently making use of the makerspace in Sullivan, as well as the makerspaces in the libraries, in a project he'd been working on to create a custom-built key, uh, keyboard number pad. Eli has demonstrated a desire to continue to act as a member of the engineering village moving forward, as he has applied to become a, men a mentor for the upcoming academic year. During the hiring process, one of the motivations he cited was the community in the village that he was able to become a part of. He spoke at length about how this community was crucial during his first year transition and it helped him establish a, a support structure that allowed him to be successful and he wanted to be part of this next year and to pay this forward to next year's incoming first year engineers. Again, congratulations Eli for, for being the 2019-2020 Spirit of the Village Award recipient for the Engineering Village and I look forward to the opportunity to continue to work with you in the future. My name is Eli Williams. I use he, him, his pronouns. I am in the Engineering Village at Sullivan Hall. Uh, I'm currently studying mechanical engineering, and I'm a freshman. Uh, I'm honored to be the spirit of the village for NC State's engineering village. Uh, to me, this award means that my village appreciates all that I've done for it and have a positive influence on those around me, whether that be engineering students within the village or people outside of the village who may be just interested in engineering or the resources that are available for them that could be related to engineering. Uh, I feel that I've embodied, embodied the spirit of the village, but making use of the resources available to me as an engineering student in Sullivan Hall, uh, and that I've encouraged and uplifted people within the College of Engineering to also use the same resources or to be successful within engineering. Um, I've been personally affected by my experiences in the village because I've gained some, some new friends within the village itself, whether that be other engineering first year students or engineering mentors who I feel can really help me with, with school or with personal things I'm dealing with. Uh, as for professionally, I've gained some really valuable resources and connections within NC State Engineering that I feel I can utilize for the rest of my time here. Uh, as for what I feel I've learned or how I, uh, how I plan to apply that in the future, um, I've learned a lot about some like, interpersonal things with people. Uh, I've also learned a lot how to be learned a lot about how to be more professional um, around people who may be um, a higher grade or higher grade than me, or they may be higher up like within the school professionally. Um, I also feel like I gained a lot of skill in some of the maker resources that are available to me in the lobby of Sullivan, it's like three D printing, uh, soldering, stuff like that that I feel I can apply for the rest of my career. Thank you. Hello, I'm Dr. Julie Peranto, the Global Village Director in Alexander Hall. And today it is my great pleasure to award the K. Yao Spirit of the Village Award to Shiren Batanka Baranosa Faverani, a double major in biology and psychology with aspirations of being a medical professional. Shiren has served as both an ambassador and a resident advisor this year stepping into that RA role when we really needed someone to. Since Sharon walked into Alexander Hall in the fall of 2017, she has come a long way. Initially somewhat timid and hesitant to engage, Sharon has come full circle, turning into the one person that both students and staff turn to to make sure that things get done. Sharon is also an incredibly hospitable person who uses her own experience as an immigrant from Iran to ensure that the students in our village feel right at home. We're fortunate that Sharon will be returning to live with us this coming fall as an RA for her senior year. Her leadership, heart for the residents of our community, and overall positive attitude will help all of our students and staff make 2020-2021 the best possible experience. Congratulations again, Sharon, and we can't wait to celebrate with you in person. Hi everyone, my name is Sharon Ratanjo. My pronouns are she, her, hers. 
I'm a third year student double majoring in psychology and human biology. I've been in the Global Village since the beginning of my journey at NC State, first as a resident, then an ambassador, and now I'm an RA. Being the recipient of this year's KEI Spirit of Global Village means that to some degree, I was able to represent my village's mission, vision, and values. Community is the beating heart of Global Village, and it is what Global Village hopes and successfully achieves each and every semester. I have embodied the spirit of village by helping build a community through the years. As an ambassador, I was there welcoming students from the first moment they arrived at NC State. I made sure our international exchange and domestic students felt at home while being away from home. I also planned and led events that allowed res residents to share their own culture with the village through food, games, and presentations. I collaborated with the scholar and resident and the student staff whenever necessary to put up events and lead students in engaging in inclusive ways. I aspire to include everyone in the day-to-day -day activities and serve as a re resource to my community whenever necessary. As an RA, I continue to build the village's presence by working with ambassadors and planning events for residents. I always leave my door open with the hopes that my residents will feel comfortable coming to talk to me about anything that's on their mind, or simply to stop by and chat. The village means so much to me and I couldn't imagine living anywhere else during my time at State. I feel so much more confident in my abilities to give presentations to large groups of people, as well as direct my peers in planning and cooking for events that will feed about 100 people. I learned to be flexible and build meaningful relationships even within a short amount of time. My experiences in the village has also enabled me to improve my cultural awareness and help me acknowledge that each individual will bring their own beliefs, morals, and values into a situation and that we're all inherently different from each other, but this is what Global Village does. It brings people together. While I am proud of my professional accomplishments within the village, the biggest reward has been in my personal life. I have made lifelong friendships with people from around the world who I know I will visit in the future. The hardest part of living in the Global Village is saying goodbye at the end of each and every semester. But while I sometimes question, my decision to willingly have friends who leave after only a semester, I wouldn't trade my experiences in the village for anything. They say home is where the heart is, and that community that's built, it never leaves you. Global Village becomes a family for life, and it is truly a unique and special place at NC State, and I am glad that I have been able to be part of its success. Thank you. Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Scott O'Leary and I am the director of the Honors and Scholars Village. It is my great pleasure to introduce Grant Barkley, the 2019-2020 Spirit of the Village Award winner for the Honors and Scholars Village. Grant was selected by a committee of student leaders of the village and wider quad community. Grant exemplifies the spirit of the Honors and Scholars Village in his dedication to scholarly conversation, critical inquiry, research, and civic engagement. He has demonstrated and modeled an interdisciplinary approach to problem solving and has actively contributed to knowledge creation in the classroom, village, and beyond. He has always modeled consideration of a diverse set of perspectives, backgrounds, and openness to new ideas while bringing laughter, support, and encouragement to his fellow villagers. These are just a few ways in which Grant's actions reflect, in every possible sense, the ethos of our community. Congratulations, Grant. Hi, everyone. My name is Grant Barkley. I use he, him, and his pronouns. I'm a math and physics major, and this is my fourth year at NC State. I'll be graduating this semester. This year, I'm honored to be the Spirit of the Village Award winner for the Honors and Scholars Village. Being chosen as the spirit of the village is a recognition of my role in the social and intellectual community in the village. I have loved the time I spent here, and I'm glad that it seems I've made a positive impact. The Honors and Scholars Village is all about exploring intellectual curiosity and interacting with peers from different fields who may have different ideas or viewpoints. In my time in the Quad, I was known for both my passion for mathematical research and academics, while still always being available for and involved in many of the regular events run by the wonderful village staff and student leaders. The Honors and Scholars Village has been a source of a number of treasured friends and mentors for me over the past few years. 
I've been continually impressed with the accomplishments of my peers, and their efforts have always been a motivation for me. Soon I will be going to graduate school for my PhD in mathematics. The academic and cultural explorations which I was able to take part in while in the Honors and Scholars Village have been a regular motivation during my undergraduate degree, and I am sure the lessons I have learned will carry on to my future work in mathematics, in research and teaching, and in community involvement. Thank you very much. Hello, my name is Dr. Anna L. Patton. I use she, her pronouns, and I'm the director of the Impact Leadership Village for NC State University. It is my pleasure to share a few words about Mason Burroughs, the 2019-2020 ILV Spirit of the Village winner. From day one, Mason has been a pleasure to have within this year's ILV cohort. His positivity, enthusiasm, and genuine interest in the well-being of others quickly made his suite a social destination for a friendly face. One of his nominators shared that they like to seek out Mason because he provides free hugs to everyone who enters 201, and in general, his sunny personality immediately makes me and the people around him happy. I have seen what I would call the Mason effect firsthand at all kinds of village events. From Shackathon to CL programs to community outreach opportunities, Mason always brings the best in himself and likewise brings out the best in others. Emphasizing these skills, one villager said, Mason is incredibly wholesome and he definitely empowers each of us. He always knows what to say when you are sad. And I believe that being approachable is a great characteristic of a leader. Throughout the year, Mason has truly embodied the spirit of the village and is consistently one of the most involved members. Speaking to his involvement, one staff nominator shared, Mason serves as a sweet rep, making sure that the villagers' voices are heard by the execs and the CLs, as well as addressing any problems that he sees within the suite, floor, or community. Mason has also been incredibly active with his participation in village events, particularly community outreach. In fact, last semester, Mason had the most completed service hours over all other villagers, with 14. And that includes our CLs and our exec board members. On top of community service, Mason attended all three speaker series events, two CL programs, and other events hosted by event planning. Mason also makes this person's mentorship groups, group meetings memorable, making everyone laugh with stories and positive attitude. His passion for cows and for ILV is infectious, and this person really emphasized that throughout their nomination. Indeed, Mason received the superlative of most ethical at our State of the Village in December for his constant positive involvement and support, his selection as one of our 2020-2021 community leaders. Truly, I know I could go on and on about the incredible contributions Mason has made to our community this year, but to save time and to avoid some tears, I will simply say it is my absolute honor to recognize Mason Burroughs as the 2019-2020 Spirit of the Village winner for the Impact Leadership Village. Congratulations, Mason. We're so, so proud of you. Hello, my name is Mason Burroughs, and I use he, him, his pronouns. I'm a member of the Impact Leadership Village and a first-year stu student studying plant biology. To me, being Spirit of the Village means that I demonstrate the principles of being inclusive, empowering, ethical, process-oriented, and purposeful. These are the founding principles of the relational leadership model that we learn through the village, and I use them to create a supportive atmosphere where all members can contribute to a common goal. I have embodied the spirit of the village by being someone that everyone in the village can always depend on to deliver unconditional support, listen, and tell the best stories just when they need them most. I've also embodied the spirit of the village by my participation in village activities and contributing my enthusiasm, devotion, and care for the village and to each. Being in the village has helped me to make lots of friends and develop a network of support. It has also helped me feel confident in being myself and through the relational leadership model, I've learned ways to foster community in groups that I am involved with. I plan to use what I've learned in the village to help me be an effective leader in my community 
and help me develop networking skills that I can use to help me find a job in the government. Hi, my name is Jamiko McKenzie. I'm the Community Director for Wood Triad North and Watauga. And I'm here today to talk about uh, the Spirit of the Village Award recipient for Native Space. Native Space is a community that create that is all about creating community ac academic excellence and cultural knowledge for students who identify as Native American, Indigenous, or other students who are interested in being an ally to that community. To our L Spirit of the Village Award recipient this year is Lenore Moore. She's a junior um, majoring in English and a member of Alpha Pi Omega um, Native American sorority. She exemplifies all things there is Native space. She cares highly about being involved in the community, um, creating great connections with all, all of her fellow villagers. She's very much academically strong. And in addition to that, she creates knowledge and helps other students understand Native culture and is very visible in the Native community here on campus and at home in her Robinson County community. She's an avid, avid advocate for Native and Indigenous um, topics and often in our Native Space meetings would be very vocal in sharing her experiences and ideas around what it means to be Indigenous um, and all is all very kind and patient and always cares about like others and wanting to create more opportunities for Native Americans on campus. I'm excited that she's our award winner this year and I, I look forward to the great things she will do next year as the Native Space Mentor. Hi, I'm Robin McWilliams, director of the Save Village at NC State, and I'm proud to announce that this year's Spirit of the Village awardee for Save Village is Morgan Bellinger. Uh, Morgan is a first year student from Fayetteville who is a math education major, and she's been instrumental in everything that we've done as a village this year. Uh, she's a, an advocate for a fifth grade student partner at Powell Elementary, and I've seen firsthand the work that she has put in with her student partner and the impact that she's made upon that young student. She's also been uh, very instrumental in um, helping guide our in-house activities and programs. Uh, she attended our Charleston fall break trip that had a real um, meaningful experience in terms of working with um, a boys home and a communities and schools group in North Charleston and um, the resident mentors in Save Village rave about Morgan and say she is so dedicated um, to, to the work that we do in Say. So congratulations Morgan and we're excited to to give you this award uh, as being the Spirit of the Village awardee for this year. Thank you so much. My name is Morgan Bellinger. I use she her pronouns and I'm part of the Save Village, which is the Students Advocating for Youth Village. Uh, I'm technically a sophomore, but it's my first year at NC State, and I'm studying high school math education. So being the spirit of the village to me, uh, it's first off a really like an honor. Um, and secondly, I feel like it's not exactly an individual award. I feel like there are so many members that embody what a spirit would be, which I guess is supporting each other being there for each other and just being really really passionate about what the villages causes and what we do um so personally uh i've been affected by the village just because how many people i've met and how many friends i've made it's such a warm and welcoming community and uh, i've been personally affected just because of how much i've learned while i've, while I've been let's say um our EAs put on these awesome uh, programs, which I think are essentially professional and personal development programs. Uh, they're really informing and they're really, really awesome to implement in one's life, not just for educators, but for anybody. Um, and then 
as far as using the information that I've learned while I've been at SAE, uh, in my future goals, uh, obviously implementing what I now know about students at risk in my classroom, because, you know, as a teacher, you'll see students from every kind of background. Um, and so it's given me a better hindsight of how best to support them and advocate for them. And as far as personally, uh, I've met a lot of great people through the village that are gonna be in my field. And it's just awesome to know that I have that support behind me uh, with meeting these awesome people that I know are passionate about students just like I am. Hi, my name is Leah Campbell. My pronouns are she, her, hers, and I am the director for State Village, which serves our second year and transfer students. This year, I'm honored to announce that Joe Roy is the winner of the Spirit of the Village Award for the 2019-2020 academic year. Now, let me talk to you a little bit about how amazing Joe Roy really is. This young man is a transfer student. And although transfer students come in having a little bit of a challenge regarding getting connected, this young man took the opportunities that were presented within State Village and maximized them. Our three tenets are identity development, community development, and transition. Joe Roy spent time attending programs that talked about identity that allowed him to take assessments to learn more about himself and discover truly who he is at his core. And from that, I believe that he is now more aware, more cognizant of how he can operate and navigate the world that he is entering into. Not only was he amazing at showing up to programs and supporting his mentor for different events that happened, but this young man literally built community. You would always see him upstairs on the fourth floor in the lounge playing games, hanging with friends. He was just that type of person that you felt comfortable around. Joe understood the importance of transitioning well. Transitioning can be difficult, but he did not waver in his pursuit to do it and do it well. So not only did he learn more about his identity, not only did he build community, but he transitioned from an institution into the Wolfpack family with ease. I'm honored that he was a part of the State Village experience this year and that he is walking away a better Wolfpack student, a better leader, and one I hope will make an impact on the world that he is going into. He's gonna be amazing. Y'all just wait. Again, Joe Roy, the Spirit of the Village Award winner for State Village. Give it up. My name is Joe Roy. My pronouns are he, him, and his. I'm a member of State Village, and I am a junior majoring in civil engineering. Being the spirit of the village is something I definitely take pride in. I think that being spirit of the village shows that the village has truly impacted me as an individual, and that's shown in the way that I interact with my peers. I embody a transfer student embracing the change and wanting to make a positive impact on my community. I am more intentional in decisions I make and consider others before taking actions. I think State Village has emphasized and reinforced that we never know what people are going through or have gone through. I've learned the importance of treating everyone with respect and equality. State Village has made a huge difference in my transition from community college to NC State. It's helped me find a great group of friends who are like-minded. State Village has also changed the way I approach daily interaction and helped enforce change into the way I handle myself in various situations. Professionally, State Village has helped me improve my decision-making process and help better understand how to effectively communicate and interact with my peers and superiors. In the future, I plan to continue using what I've learned this year. I plan to use and implement the various strategies and ideas I've learned throughout my personal and professional life. The things I've learned will allow me to continue being a positive and impactful individual while simultaneously being an effective and understanding communicator. Thank you so much. Hi, my name is Jamiko McKenzie. I'm the community director for Wood, the Triad North, and Watago. And today I'm here to talk about our uh, Wellness Village, um, Spirit of the Village recipient. 
Our split up the village recipient for this year is Suresh. Suresh is a first year management management student um, who is very active in the wood wellness community. He attends almost every event that we have and tries to find ways that he can put on leadership um, and really interrogate for himself what does his wellness goals mean and how can he help others um, develop their, their wellness goals. He's very self-reflective and caring and involved. In addition to wood wellness, he's super involved with our wood hall council where he advocates for our wellness issues within the wood residence hall community. I'm excited for the the work that Cherish has done this year and I'm, I'm even more excited for what he will do next year as the Wellness Village mentor. Congratulations. Hi everybody, I'm Kathy Titus Becker, the Director of the Women in Science and Engineering Program, and I'm so excited to announce this year's Why Spirit of the Village Award winner is Emma Simpson. She is a second year student majoring in biochemistry and plant biology in the College of Agricultural and Life Sciences. She immediately came to mind as one of the nominees and now our award um, winner recipient this year. She has done so much for the village, including just her positive attitude and showing up to a lot of programs and being in the office and studying and helping out wherever she can. Um, she also is a CALS ambassador, and so she volunteers for WISE by showing her room um, to prospective and, um, students and admitted students as well. And she often always does this um, at the last minute and um, she uh, doesn't even have to be asked. She just shows her room um, and it's just so very helpful. And again, she's just an amazing student. We're thrilled to have her in WISE these past two years. She was a recipient of um, a scholarship, a, a study abroad travel grant, where she got to go with university scholars to the Florence program last summer. And um, she wanted to present about her study abroad experience this year, and we were um, unable to schedule that, but I hope she'll come back in the future um, next year when we're all back on campus and talk about her experience. She's just a wonderful student, and we really couldn't be happier um, to have her in the program, and she just embodies the wise um, spirit. So thank you, Emma. We miss you, and congratulations. Hi, my name is Emma Simpson. I go with the pronouns she, her, hers. I'm a member of the Wise Village and a sophomore double majoring in biochemistry and plant biology with a minor in forensic science. To me, being the spirit of the village means that I've supported others in their village endeavors and have shared my story and passion for Wise with others, especially prospective students. I have embodied the spirit of the village by supporting my fellow village members attending events and helping show prospective students how WISE can be the home for them. At WISE Spend a Day, I love telling students what the village can offer them. I have also been told that I have gone out of my way to be WISE's biggest advocate for prospective students in CALS. Personally, I was able to meet so many new people that were in the same classes I was taking while making a deeper and long-lasting friendship with my mentor. Tutoring and academic support from college-specific advisors and special events such as How to Ace Chemistry 101 with Dr. Fiducia had a positive impact on my WISE experience. I also received a scholarship to study abroad last summer, which allowed me to travel over the free weekend we had. Professionally, I had the opportunity to attend events through WISE that I never would have attended otherwise. These events allowed me to learn about proper business attire, interview skills, and the issues women face in different STEM fields. Every networking opportunity provided by WISE ultimately impacts my future personally and professionally. Through WISE, I discovered that traveling is something I personally enjoy and in the future it would add a global perspective to my professional life. I plan to use what I have learned from WISE to be open-minded about every idea that comes my way. The way WISE is structured will allow me to work in an environment where I have the opportunity to be a mentor in a collaborative group. The Village also emphasized taking care of 
Hi everyone, my name is Tiffany Chan and I'm the project coordinator for Living Learning Initiatives. I'm pleased to announce this year's Spirit of the Village Award for Women of Welch is Brianna Potts. Brianna joined WOW mid-semester and has truly embodied the essence of WOW. Brianna has shown tremendous growth since joining the village and has developed strong bonds with each member of the village. Brianna is actively engaged and makes every effort to attend all village events, even if it's for a few minutes. I've had the opportunity to get really get to know Brianna during WOW's ASB trip to Washington, D.C., and it was really rewarding to see her flourish during this trip. Brianna also had the chance to present at this year's Gender and Equity Symposium, where she presented a research project on the adversities in which the LGBT plus community faces and focus on the positive representation for this community, the importance of positive representation for this community. It has been an incredible opportunity to see Brianna grow and represent the tenants of WOW. Congratulations, Bri, on your recognition. Hello, my name is Brianna Potts. My pronouns are she, her, hers. Um, I am a freshman here at NC State majoring in psychology and minoring in arts entrepreneurship. Um, and I have been I have been awarded the KL Spirit of the Village Award for Women of Welch. Um, so being a spirit of the village means to me that I have become a strong feminist and more educated on the issues that women face. And I have embodied being the spirit of the village through um, giving insightful commentary in our discussions that we have in Women of Welch about, you know, gender issues and equality issues um, across the board, especially in regards to um, intersectionality, because as a black female and with other aspects of myself, I have a lot of intersectionality within me. So I give a, I give my own ex personal experience in our conversations. So I have been affected through with women of Welch through um, just becoming more educated on issues that women face because I came in clueless, and then I realized, oh, cool. There are a lot of disadvantages we have in this world and hopefully, really hopefully, someday there will be more equality and that's for everyone. So, um, sorry about that. Uh, so I plan to use what I've learned in my research as a psych major, just a lot of psychological research. I really, really want to do that. And I also hope to become an artist someday just to you know provide more um just to educate the masses on issues that we face and that's for everyone in every minority or marginalized community within the world so thank you all for nominating me i am very very honored